Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jamie, and here on this channel, we do a lot of running, adventures, tips and tricks on running. Today you guys are gonna see a grocery haul in the life of a marathon runner. You're gonna see everything that I buy to sustain myself while I plan long runs during the week. I do generally need to go to three or four places to find everything I need on my list, and I have it down pretty much to the point where I know where I can get the kind of chicken I like or the exact creamer I like for the prices of the various stores that I'll be going to. I cook at home a lot, I eat at home, but I also like to eat what I like to eat. So my shopping list has such a variety to it. Let's go hop in the car and let's go shopping. First store, check. Now I'm on to store number two, which is gonna be Trader Joe's. Yes, I, I changed my shirt because I was just, the other one was like a PJ shirt. But all right, all done with store number two, Trader Joe's. Got a little snack. I can't resist like not picking up a snack when I'm grocery shopping. <laughs> all right, so now I'm gonna head over to Whole Foods probably gonna have to wait in another line um, and get the rest of the things that are on my list. These are delicious. Straight sugar. All right, just parked at home and I'm gonna get all of my groceries in one trip. I'm gonna be unpacking all my groceries in the kitchen. Um, I have a fairly small kitchen and the lighting is not great and I apologize in advance. But anyways, let's get to it. All right, you guys, I got this Beyond Meat Sausage. The Beyond brand of uh, meat products is a vegan company that makes vegan meat products, but creates them to resemble um, actual meat. And I actually, I find them quite tasty and they have a lot of protein and they're vegetarian. And I don't always like to eat a lot of meat. I have the Beyond Burgers, which we love these. They're delicious. Beyond Burgers, I got two of those. Uh, prosciutto, I really like. Prosciutto, I like to eat in omelets specifically or with like scrambled eggs. Same thing with these sausages. Um, I'll eat those in a scramble. I got 12 ounces of fresh salmon from Whole Foods. I got two bags of chicken that I'm gonna grill on the George Foreman. I also got this frozen chicken that I'll eat for lunch. This stuff is really, really good. Naked Truth brand. Got these Carb Balance Whole Wheat Wraps. And these are good if you're trying to not eat a ton of carbs. Also got a family size mozzarella and cheese. Maybe I'm just craving mozzarella right now. Ravioli. Um, I got the bedtime tea that I like. This stuff literally puts me to sleep. It's really nice. Also, this is the kind of lettuce that I like. It's very crunchy usually. Um, I got a pack of walnuts for my oatmeal. And I got some olive tapenade because I love salty, oily, tasty things. I got a jar of Maria's spicy tomato basil sauce. And this is actually a local company and it's cheaper than the stuff I usually get. Um, I got eggs. And then I got these Trader Joe's organic coconut water drinks, which are... If you've ever had um, Harmless Harvest, these are kind of similar in taste to those. It's very good stuff. Um, I got this creamer that I rave about all the time. Um, we have some old fashioned white bread here, which is so good, homemade stuff. I got some pickles. And one of the last few things that I got here are these Celsius drinks. So these drinks, um, I love, love, love these. They have a lot of caffeine. So if that's something that you can handle, like health-wise, um, these are great. But they also have a ton of vitamins in them and they also have biotin. I don't recommend drinking a whole one of these and then going for a run because in the past when I've done that, I've been so overly caffeinated that I've literally not felt good even a little bit. Each one of these has 200 milligrams of caffeine. I got green bananas. And then I got less green bananas because I will eat them all. Because 
I can go through one batch and by the time I'm done with that batch, the next one will be ready, which will be not that long. One organic yellow pepper and one organic orange pepper, regular non-organic broccoli, two cucumbers. I got some organic asparagus. I got two avocados. Oh, um, I got two avocados and one is more ripe than the other. So by the time I'm done with one, I'll be ready to eat the other. I got two organic tomatoes. And so the reason why I like to buy organic tomatoes and organic peppers specifically is because I can taste a huge difference. Just like at least with a couple vegetables, like honestly, organic broccoli, I can't really, and organic asparagus, I can't really taste a huge difference. But like peppers and tomatoes, like you gotta go fresh. Um, I also got some basil because I'm gonna be making caprese. If you're looking for a, a non-dairy butter alternative substitute, this stuff is literally amazing. It tastes almost better than actual butter. It has a nice creamy consistency on toast. It's literally delicious. I also got organic mozzarella at Trader Joe's. I got some of these perfect bars for these. I like the coconut and peanut butter ones and then the almond butter ones. They're very filling, 16 grams of protein in about one of these, which is really good. Two organic grapefruits. I am sure that you guys maybe noticed, like I got quite a variety of things. Like I like to get non-dairy options, you know, for my coffee and my shakes and stuff, but I also like to eat cheese. I do a good mix of protein and vegetables and fruits. And then I do like to have like some ice cream or some beer or some wine or gummy bears, like chocolate. You know, I just, I certainly hold no restrictions. And I also, don't do a ton of calorie counting because I don't think that it is productive to be counting calories for me personally when I'm running every day, when I'm running consistently. I don't know if being on a calorie restrictive diet will ever help me run better or be a better athlete. Like to eat until I feel good. If I've eaten too much and I don't feel good, I know like maybe I've eaten too much. And I think that that's what is intuitive eating Life shouldn't be about being so worried about eating like a scoop of ice cream either. Everything in moderation, and I can't even stress that enough. A pint of ice cream doesn't make me feel good, but like a couple scoops of ice cream isn't gonna kill me. You guys saw everything that I'm gonna eat this week as a marathon runner. That is seven days, three meals a day, plus snacks worth of food. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.